top 10 most underrated PS2 games that deserve more recognition. Hey, big man, I won't let you down. You guys better be ready for the real thing. Based on the 1975 film with the same name, the Warriors follows the story of a New York City gang who are framed for the murder of a respected gang leader and must return to their home turf while being hunted by rival gangs and the police. <laughs> I mean, we all took a pretty hard beat, but I know Jesse did some major damage. Essentially, The Warriors is a 3D brawler that lets you take on rather guns in hand to hand combat, along with mini games for robbing stores. Stefano, time to pay up. Okay, I pay, I pay, but I don't want any trouble. Don't worry, we'll take care of you. Stealing car radios and spreading your guns graffiti tag everywhere. <laughs> Let's go. Stupid chick just sold out a man. Let's hey, go wreck it. Toy ass. Mark Echoes Getting Up Contents Under Pressure follows Train, a graffiti artist who marches to his own beat and creates street art to stand up to a corrupt and oppressive government. It sure as hell kept us on our toes. Gameplay offers gamers a unique mix of swift stealth and street fighting abilities. Just stay down, punk! Along with the agility to scale any object in order to get up and place graffiti tags, spreading a message of rebellion. As a game that is a homage to one of the four legs of hip hop, Contents Under Pressure is dedicated to creating a story and environment that is a true representation of graffiti culture. This game, it's all he wants to talk about. How can he not get pissed, man? Dallas just shot 6 for 20. What's up with that? Get him! Get him! Ugh. Ooh, that's gotta hurt! You okay, Sarge? Time Split is 2 Future Perfect is a hilarious first person shooter. Whoa! That was my best pipe, you bounders! No, don't! Get down! The game features a single player mode where the player controls Sergeant Cortez, a time traveling marine from the 25th century, as he attempts to go to the past to save the future. Hey, up here. What? But you're me. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Beyond its cinematic campaign, is a mesmerizing multiplayer mode with more than 120 wild and wacky characters to choose from. Come get some! Throw in a selection of challenge modes and meaningful unlockables, and it's clear that Time Splitters 2 paved the way for the modern shooter. <laughs> NBA Ballers is a one on one basketball streetball game highlighting the lavish lifestyle of NBA superstars and you can create your own character to play one on one in 2 minute games of fast paced b-ball. Oh, yeah. Most of the moves in the game were from amateur basketball players. Rise yeah. Ring. Hey homie, let me holla at you for a minute. Yeah. What you need, man? Same bag? 20 sack? Or ounce? Or what? But you bounce the f out of here and don't look back. Where that gap lead? True Crime New York is an open world game that centers on Detective Marcus Reed, a former gang member turned police officer who goes on a quest to discover who killed his mentor. With a vast world to explore, players can drive cars, engage in high energy shootouts, or tend to their main missions, which drive the plot forward. Despite receiving mixed reviews from critics and gamers, the game is still one of the most exciting titles of the sixth generation of gaming. Talking some important business here. Take your ass somewhere else, homeboy. Uh -huh, yeah. Yo, I'm talking to you, fool. An arcade beat them up at its best. It's Urban Rain, which features Brad Hawk, a brawler for hire who has to fight his way through street gangs to find a kidnapped gang member. 
with smooth looking fighting animations, simple yet deep gameplay consisting of strikes and grapples, and a whole host of interesting characters to unlock, Urban Rain is an underrated beat em up. Vic Vance reporting for duty, sir! <laughs> relax, relax. The most underrated GTA game is Vice City Stories, a 1984 prequel to Vice City, which stars the soldier Vic Vance, who turns to a life of crime to support his ill fated family. You gotta get rid of that stuff, it's making me nervous. I'm not into drugs, and Chill. I don't. If you played Vice City, Vice City's story has pretty much the same vibe, only everything is more enhanced. Victor Vance as a morally correct GTA protagonist is a refreshing storyline. That's cool. Well, I want out. I don't want to sell drugs, but I ain't got a choice right now. Jeez, Quentin. You didn't say your brother was such a bull. Meanwhile, the game introduced several unique features that wasn't present in previous GTA games and the game's soundtrack is a blast from the past. Yeah! Wow! So this is where the coke is going? Up your nose? Yes! Oh. Oh. The Herbs, Sims in the City is a Sims spin-off that is really talked about today. Unlike other Sims games, getting a job and earning promotions isn't the main focus of Herbs. The game centers around your Herbs social life and building their rep in different parts of the city. Everyone listens to the Black Eyed Peas. The party never stops and the most important thing is to become popular because some guy told you to. NBA Street V3 followed in the footsteps of its predecessors, allowing players to perform nonsensical street ball moves with a razzle dazzle finish. Yo, are you listening? Is that the only move you got? Ow! Let's get As a silly yet fun sports game based on arcade style street ball, it was never one to take itself too seriously, and it expanded on everything that made the first two games so good including new features like creating your own basketball court and sneakers. Despite this, it didn't receive as much love as NBA Street Volume 2, but regardless, it will all be on the Mount Rushmore of arcade basketball video games. Went up for the bay but stopped in his tracks. And he took it to the bottom, lovely. 10 to 1 is knocked out in a real fight. There's only one way to find out. Go buy yourself some new gear. If you're gonna run with this crew, you better look the part. Think you can handle that? Def Jam 5 for NY is a brutal, over-the-top fighting game which sees rappers on the Def Jam label taking shots at each other. Considering that this is a fighting game featuring rappers, very little rapping is done in 5 for NY. Its story mode is quite possibly the best of any fighting game and takes you on a journey through the underground fighting scene as you fight against and interact with famous personalities. The character creation is beefy, allowing you to deck out your fire in clothes and jewelry from real brands. Even with its insane depth, high level of customization and excellent story mode, the core gameplay is where Def Jam 5 for NY shines most. I'm gonna run right through you, chump. Come, come now. I know you ain't serious. You about to get sneezed, man. Combos are fluid and easy to pull off. You can pull off environmental attacks, and blazing moves are incredibly satisfying match finishes. Game day, punk, and you about to take one for the team. Yeah! Fight for NY is definitely one of the most underrated fighting games of all time. That had to hurt. 
While you down there, how about you shine my shoes? <laughs>